Welcome to how to create a master schedule or template using personnel in ES Optimizer. To view the template or master schedule, simply select the Manage Department tab and click on the Personnel menu item. You'll initially be presented with the search box, which allows you to choose all assignments or all scheduled assignments, assignments by shift, or assignments based upon supervisor. In this case we're going to use day shift and then we're going to select find. So now you can see that we're presented with a scheduled tab. You notice the difference in between the schedule and the template is the schedule actually has dates for a two-week period in it. The template, which is the master schedule, has no dates because again it is a master so it's the rubber stamp, if you will, that makes the initial draft of the work schedules. So this is set up if all things are equal and all employees are here, nobody's on a leave of absence, nobody's sick. This is generally who works what assignment on what day. And you can scroll through those. Uh, there is another view if you'd like. You can view this by employee. So you can see that each employee, and then you can see each routine that they work on what day. So sometimes people prefer the employee view. Some people would rather work in assignment view. It's entirely up to you. Uh, believe it or not, all of this information comes from the daily assignment module. And I'm going to show you that. If we simply select Assignment 101 and we click Edit, you'll notice that it takes us to the daily assignment area the third tab. Here's the first tab where we were working with adding rooms to the assignment. Here's the second tab where we pretty much worked with stored notes. Um, there, and there was a third tab which we didn't cover because we knew we would now and that's the master schedule or the template. So the first thing you notice is that this is the first week of a two-week rotation. Should there be more than that you would be prompted down below for multiple pages of two weeks at a time. Uh, so in this case, it's a two-week rotation. The other thing is this is a seven-day-a-week assignment, so you'll notice that all seven days are checked so that all seven days can have an employee scheduled for them. Should this been less than seven, you'd have the opportunity to remove whichever day is not serviced. You notice at the bottom here there's a little key uh, asterisks next to the employee's name, as seen here in Alice, just indicates that she's a relief employee. And that goes back to the master file area in the employee menu where there was a relief checkbox. And by checking that box, that places this asterisk here so that you know that that person is a relief person. Anybody that's in red means that they're already assigned. So in this case, if you look and you wanted to put another employee here for Sunday on the first week, you'd notice anybody that's red is already assigned Sunday on a different assignment. Uh, so it's just helpful to know that uh, that person is not available should you have made a change that you forgot about. Once you're done setting up the normal rotation, assuming everybody's here, then you just simply select Save and you'll be returned to the assignment. So you can scroll through and make any changes you like through the template and set it up as it would as you would see fit. Uh, notice that anybody that's red, any red blocks here, indicates that there's nobody in that assignment. Uh, and so that's just indicating that you simply do need to put a body in there. Maybe there is nobody at this point. That person left and you're filling it with uh, temporaries or what have you. Uh, so... Uh, and that's all there is to creating a master, master schedule or uh, template in uh, ES Optimizer. Have a great day.